Hey, what is up guys? Mr. Reverts here, and today we got some big stuff that was leaked out for Call of Duty World War II. Now, before I tell you guys, I would like to apologize for my voice right now. I've lost it completely because I was out yesterday playing some basketball, and uh, my allergies started to flare up, and I just spiraled downhill from there. But I do want to talk to you guys about this because some of you all may not like this, and then some of you guys may actually think this stuff is pretty cool. But uh, tell me your thoughts down below in the comments. So first of all, all this stuff was put out over on the World War II subreddit and the very first thing we have are three new supply drops and they are legendary epic and yes weapon supply drops and uh, each one is going to have an item with their respected rarity and the weapon supply drop will more than likely always give you a weapon and I know you're, what you're thinking because I'm thinking of two does that mean weapons are coming and the answer to that is yes we have a total of 13 weapons and then three melee weapons along with four variants of almost every single one except for like one melee weapon but again, every other weapon is, is going to have four variants at least. Now, guys, it does look like everything is completed here. Like, the, the reloading animation is done. Uh, all the variant camos and stuff like that is, is pretty much done already. So, I do think that these weapons are going to be coming out sometime from when uh, COD points come out. If not on that day, till probably like Christmas. Because uh, that's usually when people have the most time to play. And uh, COD points will obviously be out by then. But I do think that the weapons will be coming out when COD points do because like I said everything looks completed and ready to go but I just hope that everyone gets the base variant for free because there are base variants of these weapons in here and I think supply or season pass holders should have access to all these weapons for free and uh, if not then at least let us obtain them through armory credits because if they're just obtainable through supply jumps then that's a very very bad thing because we've come so far in supply jumps infinite warfare did it pretty well and uh, so did MWR I just really hope that they don't go back to Black Ops 3 and Advanced Warfare because their supply job system was pretty bad honestly and if everything can be unlocked through armory credits and externally either way I think that's a very good thing because every single year it seems like we've evolved through supply jobs and how we obtain things and uh, so yeah I just really hope we don't take a step back so to say in how we unlock loot and supply jobs. Now guys for the variants we don't know if they are actually stat changing variants I don't think they are because the devs did give us their word that there wouldn't be that kind of stuff in the game and I think the person data mining this stuff would have told us already and honestly it would look pretty bad on Sledgehammer to add that kind of stuff when there's a lot of issues with this game such as the headquarters that is still not working for example uh, but yeah guys I wanted to make this video because I think it's really really serious that you guys know that weapons will be coming in supply jobs and I think the best thing to do would be to save your supply jobs just in case so guys I'm gonna go ahead and get some rest my voice is really really hurting me right now but uh, I did want to make this video for you guys because it's really really serious so tell me your thoughts down below guys also drop a like if y'all did enjoy and thanks for watching till next time I'll see you later